We've, we've made progress slowly uh, but surely. You know, we have 17 guys. Uh, we're trying to get them all reps. We've had uh, four or five guys have to battle uh, flu-like symptoms, uh, which uh, set us back a little bit. And, you know, we have two freshman point guards that we're counting on that have been banged up and haven't practiced the last couple of days. So uh, there's some uncertainty uh, at that position heading into uh, Monday. But uh, the guys have been working hard. We're a little behind where, where I'd like to be defensively, um, and that's a rarity for our teams. We're usually uh, way ahead defensively and on the glass. And you know, right now we're a little bit ahead uh, offensively, so we need our defense to catch up a little bit in these next couple of days. You mentioned the flu. Is everybody... It has that kind of come and gone, or is it still lingering? Well, we still have two guys right now that um, aren't practicing uh, because of it. And, uh, you know, that's why I say flu-like symptoms. I don't want anybody to say, you know, Coach Brown said these guys have the flu, but plenty of flu-like symptoms uh, have been going around, and it's hitting our guys one by one. But I guess it's better to hit guys now than hit them uh, once we start playing games. Has it kind of run the course through the team? I mean, has everybody kind of gotten it? or just a No, I'd say a good six or seven guys. Uh, you know, right now we've had two guys, um, you know, one of our key players was out for about eight days and then we have uh, another individual, a, a young kid who um, finally went back to class today after six days. So it's, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, there's not much you can do for it. Uh, you just got to sit and wait, make sure they, uh, you know, kind of quarantine them, make sure they get tons of fluids and uh, get some rest and uh, just play it by ear. What has been your message to the veteran guys on this team? You know, what, what do you want to see from them this early in the season? Well, from the veterans, I'd like to see uh, some leadership. Uh, you know, I'd like to see them, you know, really be uh, rock solid for us and uh, so we don't have to rely on our younger guys. We can bring our younger guys along slowly. Um, you know, so if we can get consistency from those veterans and leadership from those veterans and allow the young guys to develop uh, at a normal pace, uh, we don't want them to have to develop so rapidly. Uh, I think that's the key for us. What have you seen from the freshmen? You know, I think our freshmen have been up, down, and all around. Uh, we've, they've had good days, bad days. I think uh, having to play so hard uh, on a da daily basis, uh, I think that's been a huge adjustment for them. Uh, the physicality of the game has been an adjustment for them. Uh, I think they've all sh have showed flashes, and I think it's unrealistic unre of me to uh, expect them to be consistent right now. I just need them to pick up uh, and understand what we're trying to do philosophy-wise, offensively and defensively, and if they can do that and uh, just continue to get better uh, each day, uh, you know, we'll benefit from it. And I think it's hard uh, from our from our perspective to take a whole lot out of that game uh, for a variety of reasons. One, uh, Lemoyne was tremendous. They did a great job, uh, but they're small, they're undersized. And like Beheim said in, uh, in his press conference after, you know, we're trying to get better with our man-to-man -man defense. And, um, you know, Syracuse is a 2-3 zone team. They played very few possessions a 2-3 zone yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if they played every possession against us, a 2-3 zone. And plus, uh, the big fella, Anueke, who's a pro, only played 18 or 20 minutes last night. He had surgery a couple of weeks ago. He's only been practicing for two weeks. So he's not going to be 100% for our game either, but I think he'll play more than 18 to 20 minutes. And uh, I, I think uh, those, those are trap games. I think that's why we scrimmage. Uh, other Division One teams, just because um, I'm not sure Syracuse was focused uh, to play Lemoyne. They beat him handily the year before. I thought they, they felt roll out the ball, we'll beat him again. And Lemoyne's well coached, and uh, they're a good Division Two basketball team. And uh, unfortunately, now uh, we're not going to catch um, Syracuse sleepwalking on Monday. There's a reason why. They're top 25 in, uh, in the preseason coaches poll. They have one of the best shooters in the Big East in Routens, one of the best players in Wesley Johnson, and maybe the best front court in the Big East in uh, Rich Jackson and a healthy Onyeweke. So, um, you know, I, I really don't put too much value in what happened last night because I think we're going to see a completely different Syracuse uh, effort and team on Monday night. How, how are you feeling right now? I heard uh, you had a little bout of the flu. Um, Is it come and go on? Um, it's going now. Uh, you know, it's been going for a couple of days now, and you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling like myself again. Um, you know, the flu that went through the team. Do you think that was a big setback for this team? I mean, did it put you guys behind? You feel it? Um, well, maybe for the guys who got sick, uh, you know, laying you know laying in the bed for multiple days in a row is you know it's, it's hard to come back from. You know, I know firsthand because I laid in bed for about eight days straight. 
and um, you know, it took a little bit of time to get my conditioning back. But now we have so many guys on our team to where, you know, it doesn't really set us back as far as as far as practice because we always have guys there to you know take somebody else's place. So this flu was pretty bad that, that you went uh, through. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty rough. <laughs> Um, you know, are you anxious to, to get it started, or is the season really coming quick? Being um, that it starts on Monday. You know, Monday. You know, Monday is right around the corner. Um, you know, I'm sure some uh, some of us will close our eyes tonight and we'll wake up and it'll be Monday Monday morning, and uh, you know, we'll be in Syracuse already, and you know, getting our minds right to go out and get a W. Yeah. How do you feel about the challenge going? Um, you know, they're you know they're a very good team. You know, they've been. A great team over the years, uh, and I'm sure, and I'm sure it'll be a real tough game for us. Are you anxious to go and, and check out that atmosphere? I very, mean, very anxious, very. Um, you know, what do you think? This is your senior year. You know, what, what are some of the things that uh, you're putting upon yourself? You know, what do you want to do to improve to help this team? Um, you know, I just want to be a more consistent leader, a more consistent scorer. Uh, you know, a more consistent everything, really. Um, you know, I understand. I understand. I have to step up and be more of a leader this year, and that's what I'm going to look to do. With the depth that you guys have, and the guys that are back, and the newcomers, what do you think this team could be capable of? What, what do you think the potential of this team could be? Uh, you know, the potential. The potential is through the roof for us. Uh, for us as a team. Um, you know, I think that we have a lot of well-rounded guys, uh, a lot of young guys who are willing to learn and follow the veterans' lead, and um, you know, hopefully. You know, hopefully it works out for us. Do you feel a lot differently coming into this year as you did last year? I mean, last year everything was kind of new here and stuff. You know, how do you feel? Um, I feel I feel a lot more prepared this year. Um, I had the whole summer. Had, I, uh, I had the whole summer to work out and uh, you know get ready for this season and the whole preseason healthy and um, you know I feel I feel good about it. I actually I actually missed it. Uh, my cable went out in my room so. Um, I wasn't so I wasn't able to catch it, but I saw some. But I saw some highlights. Do you think that maybe because they, uh, they suffered that loss, they're going to come out? I mean, obviously it's their first game of the season. They're fired up regardless. Mm -hmm. Do you think that loss might affect them? Um, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be hungry. Uh, you know, after the loss last night, I'm sure they're probably having a tough day today. And uh, you know, I'm sure that I'm sure they'll practice hard throughout the week and be ready to be ready to come out and play on Monday night. First off, uh, the season is literally right around the corner. You know, how do you feel about that? About uh, the fact that it's starting it seems so quick. But... Um, it's what we practice for all summer and all preseason for. Now it's time to show what we've been practicing every day, every morning, every night on our own to to everybody. It's exciting. Is it exciting to go into a place like Syracuse right off the bat? See what see what's going on and get it started. Yeah, it's very exciting because it's going to be a packed arena. Syracuse is a great team. I think we're we're going to be a great team this year. It's just going to be a really good game. Did you uh, watch the Syracuse Lemoyne game last night at all? Yes, I watched it. What did you think? Um, both teams are really good. Uh, that just shows anything can happen on any given day. How far along do you think you are? Are you satisfied with how far along you guys are at this point in preseason practice? Um. I'm satisfied, but I'm not because I think we can do a lot better. But we're, we're looking really good right now. Just got to keep practicing every day and getting better. Yeah, what do you think this team could be capable of with the veterans that are back and, and some of the new guys that are here too? I think we could be capable of anything that we set our minds to. It's just all on how we come out every day and practice and perform every game. Yeah. What, are, what do you expect from yourself? You know, did, did you, when last season ended, did you – kind of make a list of goals or anything like that or, or think about things that you wanted to work on? Um, my goals were just to get better every day and work on my game to help the team. And, I mean, the goals that everybody has, every team in America East has to win the America East Championship. But it's one day at a time. we got to work our way up. Did you get the flu at all? No, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> how, how bad was it, um, the, the thing that went through this team? I mean, it seems like it hit like five or six guys. Um, it was bad. I just had to take care of yourself, take your vitamins, vitamin C. I um, mean, just got to stay healthy and just get treatment every day.